Through the years, warlords came to power and in time lost it as well. Through it all, however, one place stood as a sign of power for anyone who could hold the castle of the last king. However, none of the warlords had the nerve to take it due to the castle's curse. Ooh, spooky. When the last king died, his final breath was de was used to doom anyone who entered the castle and sat on the king's throne. One brave fool braved the castle's... My god, my fucking spelling. Ed yeah, he basically braved the castle's fucking trials, sat down on the throne, and basically brought the end of the fucking world. Who fucking knows what'll happen next? Yada yada, etc. etc. Who's ready to get their ass kicked? Me! Me! Yeah! Yeah, everyone's ready to get their ass kicked. All right, moving everyone to the to the fucking prison. Oh boy! And everyone's moving to the prison. Ba -da 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 -da. Why am I so big? Sander, did you do the token? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Just, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold on, just hold the fucking. Wait, phone did for you a have second. a did you have a rocket there? Yeah, the, there's what are you, a rocket. What are you talking about? about. A, oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna break this cell open. Oh, okay. There is, there is plenty. There, there's a person in there. See, there's a rock in there. There's a rock person I, in there, I, but there's I no rock in there. My own character. That's okay. Can anyone oh. control their token? No, I can't. Click no. on your token. I'm free. Well, of course, the fucking fur. Of course, Why? the furry can control their token. I'm not a fooey, I'm just a cast. Okay. Yeah. yeah, nice try. Hang on, this is a big ass glitch. Are you sure you can't? Are you. Okay, here's yes. my question. Are you all in select and move at the moment? Yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah are I'm you all selected and moved? Ah, uh, fuck. Hang on, let me check everyone's fucking tokens. God damn it. Yeah, if you want, we God. can just. Maybe... No, no, just hold on. Just hold on. Because I'm not gonna be moving. I'm not gonna be moving your shit for me. I might have, might have fucked it up. Just you know, give me I a might minute. be able to tell who the main. I might be able to tell who the main characters are based off the vote of the tokens. Just that sounds like a load of bullshit, but okay. Yeah. Have y'all's little conversations through the bars. How long have they been there? How long have they been there for reference? Like, like, is it a varying amount of time? Um, each of you are com are committed of your own crimes. Make up your fucking sentences as you oh, go. Oh, Twiggy has been there for a long time. I'm about to say, um, I don't know how he's probably been here for like what, like a month. He's probably least. been there for the longest. No, he's probably been there for like a, like a day because he got oh. caught littering. So you know he's gonna get a couple of years in jail to make sure he learns his lesson. He hasn't said anything. No, he he's a swamp creature. He, he, no, no. He, I'm he sorry. Has, he has murdered many things inside the swamp. Sorry, I was talking about uh, the stupid rock person, the jizz. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, 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 I didn't realize. I apologize. It's okay. Speaking of the rock cover. Speaking of the rock, uh, can you move your token? Can I move my token? I cannot. Why? Here, I got your back. Delete tell. that. What the fuck? I got, I got your back. Delete that. Oh god. Why do I? Why why do my tokens come out that size? Because I made them really big. Oh yeah, that's a better thing. That's a better thing. Let me delete. Let me delete everyone who doesn't control their token. Take theirs out and resize it to fit. And then we can put our own and can resize them. Let oh. me. Oh Jesus Christ! My bad. And Doctor Spooky dies crushed into a giant rock monster. Hey, look at the sad boy. Just a poor boy from a poor. F no, wait, that's copyright shit. No. And just How's it like feel to get banned from Twitch? This is a really nice map, by the way. Yeah, I feel like Vaughn has been here for like a day and a half, maybe two days, and he hasn't said a word. He's just been like, he's just been like sitting in the corner of his cell with his knees tucked up against the chest. I feel like Dr. Oh. Smokey, like, this was just an empty prison cell, and, like, a random fucking cat ended up in there, and he's been just coming in and out for, like, the last two years. Nobody knows how he gets in or out, he just does. Okay, um... Broken. Pranking! Insignificant! 
I don't see him on the thing. Yeah, he's not on the thing because he's not there. Um, oh. Ironic that Faison mutes himself as I need him to put his token down. Sorry, I was trying to be quiet. Although right I now, now is not a time to be quiet. Right now I actually need everyone to do their shit. So, token. Don't yell at me! Not yelling. Okay. Why do my tokens come out so goddamn big? Because, because there's no grid. There's no grid and, you know, it doesn't resize, so... You are mm -hmm. not that fucking small. You know, I have yeah, everything you know. super zoomed in, so everything Broken, looks massive to me. Put it the fuck down! Um, so basically, this is the same Roken as from Kingmaker. It's the same person. Oh, shit. <laughs> Does that mean I have to actually go in and get fucking Craven as a reference for you? No, if that's what... Yeah, no, no, man. I'm the catalyst in the world ending. That's why the world ended. <laughs> you see, actually, as the DM of that game, I can help fill in the gaps here. So what happened after the House of Madness is that... Broken actually ended up with the strength so high that he ripped through reality with a single punch. I had an 87 in strength. That's not even bullshitting. That's actually how much strength I had. What? And he passed through reality, losing his godly power, and ended up in a jail cell with no actual reason of how he got there. I lost. No, I was in prison for actually destroying the universe. You destroyed the last universe before this one. You basically and I was really, the time. I'm really ill that I actually didn't get uh that I that I don't get to keep my strength uh strength drained because that shit was lit. <laughs> that was the most okay, stupid anyways, thing I broken, gave you. Yeah. <laughs> it was so yeah. fucking good because broken, I just favor. never sleep, never sleep. I don't need this shit. I want to gain 700 strength after just hitting a rat seven broken. times. What's up, broken? Boy? What's good, boy? Put. Your goddamn token down. Resize it. I can't resize things. Don't. So hold that. You're also in the wrong cell. Hey, I'm not the GM here. How am I supposed to know? Exactly. I will make you. I will make you a fucking pancake. You know you're gonna make. You're gonna make these nuts, boy. Anyways, Same. I've been. I've actually set you up in that cell for a very specific reason. Is it because I'm gonna break out because of my strength and there's nothing that can hold me? No. It's actually because, because that's the one that has the piss buckle bucket and Because legitimately the only reason I'm still in the cell is because I wanna be in the cell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have some conversation. <laughs> Have conversations between each other's characters, because at this moment in time, nothing's really happening outside the world. At this moment in time, really, it's just the two characters who have actually come searching for a specific character, if you cannot fucking tell who it is at this point, you know. But anyways, they've come, in, they've come searching for a specific person, and they've just kind of entered the building looking around at the moment. They're currently searching through a different cell block. So, have a conversation. So, what did you guys get arrested for? Meow. I agree. Um, I indeed partake in what you just said. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to play a character who just doesn't speak. I, I feel your like... character actually not speak? No, he, he can speak and everything like that, but he's just, he's like, he only... You know okay, how I speak like an do you want to hear the languages I speak? No. I speak but a yeah. lot of languages, but... I've set a timer, by the way, so... There's feline, high fauna, oyan, ignane, equine, raptor, canine, osine, woog, and woodland. I do not speak common. I think you should take under common instead of raptor. I actually can't take common. I actually can't take under common. Oh, why yeah. though? Because there's actually a list of things that I could take, and that's not. Y'all got about maybe. Y'all got maybe about. Another minute before they actually come down the hallway to, our, to you guys. So, anybody else? Y'all get arrested for anything? Or y'all just here because y'all want to be? Littering. No, I, he doesn't say that. Littering? <laughs> no, he, he. I can't do that. He's got to be serious, damn it. He'd be like, he'd be like, um, 
unjust Bojang. imprisonment. I unjust. got arrested for being too hot. Because I look like a little female, just so you know. I'm a four foot woman. Who's very attractive. <laughs> you, what? What is this? G O Tinder? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I've put the timer on a pause. Let me explain. And, uh, it was and, either <laughs> in this. It was either give him a hat that allows him to disguise into things equal to his size. that turned him into a small little girl who is also naked. And for the sake of pedophilia, I gave him the other fucking hat. Hey, so they reality, weren't naked. I said, I didn't say they were naked. I said that they were dressed up like a peasant or a blacksmith. Which is naked. No, that's I'm not going naked, to, dog. I'm, I'm well, going to kill you. Hey, As I've resumed actually, the timer, you, have, hey, you, should, you all have about 30 seconds. Can you make my token a lot smaller, though? Nah. Because there's, like, no way that I'm actually that big. Well, compare yourself to me. Okay. Listen here, sweet Xiao Kua. <laughs> okay. So, since you are the closest, Twiggy, I need a perception check for you. Gotcha. Oh, I don't want to be here anymore. Strength check to break the door down, nat 20. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> You could do that this whole time. Do I see them? Thirty, you fucking hear? You hear prisoners on the other fucking end of the castle? You hear prisoners, you hear prisoners on the other end of the freaking place having a conversation about how about how the cheese in this place doesn't taste like cheese. Anyways, you basically Damn. hear you hear two people cheese. coming down the hallway. One of them is large. The other one is about is about medium size on your own. I just lost my train of thought. That all just went over my head. I, I felt like there was... I, I'm a little slow. I just feel like, okay. wow, you just gave us a lot of information. Then it was like, I can't register any of this. Just uh, waiting for the Twiggy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's... Uh, I I typed out what he did. I mean, I can I can you speak can, it clearly if you want. You can you can say it. It, it doesn't. Yeah. You can say he, what he does. He waves his fucking vine that he had already slithered outside of the uh, cell at whoever was walking by. With your fucking thirty-two perception, uh, you hear the one. You hear the medium one kind of physically physically step back and kind of like <laughs> a sharp intake. Like what the fuck? The big <laughs> one does. <laughs> Nothing, as he's now just standing, as now he's just standing still. How yeah. big we're talking here? About, he's literally, if not equal to, just under Roken's height. Uh, but I'm actually four feet tall right now. Not talking about your current, I'm talking about your ogre. Anyways, uh, moving on. Oh, it's not an ogre, ogre. ogre. Well, uh, That is racist, racist so... Sir, there's a very large difference between an orc and an ogre, and the only difference is is size of like one foot, and that's about it. Anyways, so he's taller than Twiggy. At the moment in time, I at, at the moment in time, everyone on this side of the of the cell block can see him until he steps a little bit further. You see a very you see a basic you see basically a medium sized man yeah that's medium uh, a medium sized man kind of hold onto the stair hold, come down the stairs and just kind of hold in the middle there for a minute before he continues to walk out amongst the cells once again and he he says nothing but he just kind of looks over some of the cells stopping at the one with someone in it and moving on it, not noticing he, not noticing if he gets close there. sorry. Uh. If he gets close enough to the vine, it will try to grab him. Like, not forcefully, just like, slowly. Sexually. Just lightly grab him. I already see where this is going. He looks at the- he looks at the tree, he's just kinda like... He just doesn't even say anything. He if, if he tries to, like, walk away, he'll just- he'll just let it go. Yeah. He walked- he walked down a little bit further. He sees into the cell. He see and he can kind of see into the rest of the cells too. Uh, actually, uh, Xander, are you close to the cell door, or are you that that close to it at the moment? 
I feel like I'd be like right about there. Okay, so yeah, you know, you can see. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, it yes. is not. Hmm? Are you closer? Are you close to the bars to where you can see or no? Oh, he is as close to the bars as he can be to get the freaking okay. line out there. Kind of sees everyone is just kind of standing there, and until finally he turns to um, the four foot woman and says, "Pardon me, mm -hmm. do you have? I am currently looking for someone who's been in here a while. Do you happen to know which cell he's in?" Uh, that's a little bit. Uh, that's not a lot of information you just given me. Okay. I've Better. probably been here the longest. Twiggy has been there okay. for the Else know who or where he might be? What man are we looking for or woman? Uh, Actually, I don't know what his fucking token looks like. A second. <laughs> As I need to actually go in and actually look at... Because I literally just plucked this token out of thin air and just said, yeah, that, that'll work. What 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 kind of description of a person are we talking about here? On a scale of pale, one to ten, blonde how, hair. Oh. Pale blonde hair. Anyone? Uh, the uh, vine would tap him on the shoulder and point. There's there's uh, I think at the end of the hall. He doesn't speak much, so don't expect him to talk. He steps forward a little bit and. Kind of nods. It's just like, well, thank you all for being much help. I actually, hang on, give me a fucking second. I, I was not prepared for this. Meow. Shut Meow. Up. Hey, big he's, boy, you want to let me out of this cell? Since he's called, he's going to stand up and sort of move up to the cell. Since he's like, you out of the cell, as really he was the only person I was looking for. I, it's. I'm being honest. I'm. I got you. He can go up to the cell. He's like waiting for him to come up to him. He's like standing there, pretty like hands at his side, fate expecting um, the same. Ah, that's right. And that's right. I remember what I was gonna do here because I actually was looking for the token in reality. Uh, before, and before he can actually take a step back to go to the other person's cell, his back still turned to the rest of the area. This guy appears behind him. <laughs> Teleports behind you. Nothing sorry, personal, kid. kid. My jokes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. And, and now on top of this, before the, the demon pops in in a in a puff of black smoke, before before anything else happens, and he t the demon raises his raises his arm with a sword in his hand to go hit our our mysterious person here. But before anything, loud footsteps are heard. And the demon's hand is suddenly grabbed as a seven-foot giant man with a tower shield just suddenly appears behind the demon. Teleports behind you. Teleports, teleports, <laughs> teleports the person who teleported behind you. Sorry, man. <laughs> Not his only Bas business. It basically teleports. Basically teleports it's in like, behind him. Or, is that close know, enough to reach? No, no. As uh, as he does that, I'm going to grab the door and I'm going to rip it off its hinges and throw it at the demon. Actually, before before any before anyone can actually, I'm gonna get my time in. I'm a barbarian. Yeah, yeah. While you're ripping the door off, he's already broke the neck and thrown him aside. Dang. But, okay. Well, anyways, I'm getting can, out the still. Can, uh, can, the other can, guy kind of and I'm nods, and he's like, "Do the rest for the other cells, because we're obviously gonna need this." And he basically goes around and. Is it seventeen um, sufficient to rip off the hinge? Um, I would have said I would have assumed most of your doors were kind of rusted. So yeah, seventeen will be good enough. If anyone else wants to try to do a strength check to rip their door off, go ahead. Fuck if yeah, not, I'm gonna not, scratch then... it. I got a good. Uh, you, you scratch the shit out that <laughs> door, even though you, you can't critical doors. You scratch the door and it falls apart, and it falls down in front of you. Uh, Twiggy and me rolled the exact same strength, except I rolled worse. Check, then uh, our big guy here will just kind of 
Can anyone rip tell me, hey, what was his reaction to seeing a really small woman grab the door and rip it off the same strength as the, the big tree and walk out? <laughs> the, uh, the the first guy who came in who's been doing all the talking so far didn't really have a reaction, and neither did the other guy. So what are you looking for here? Okay. So he, uh, he the guy who snapped the demon's neck doesn't say anything. He moves past everyone and walks over to Pale Boy over here. Just without even... And he basically just kind of grabs one of the bars and just pulls the door off and what a does dick. the same thing with... I'm getting And does out. the same thing with our... Uh, with our rock friend over here. So everyone's free now. Woohoo. Anyways, um, he moves back over to the stairs and just kind of stands there for a minute. Wait, he what looks about over, this person he at the top? The, right above me. Like the cell above me. Um, the Oriad would speak. What was the point of the keys? Well, uh, and at this point, by the way, hang on, let me, let me just go into his token. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to add his name. Give me a second. Do it. At this point, he just kind of turns to you and just kind of says his name. Yeah, that, by the way. I need to make it visible. Basically says that, by the way. Basically says his name. What the hell is your so, you know, Now you know his name. And Actually, no, we don't. Oh, well, he kind of turns to all of you and says, The name's Holden. The big guy over there really doesn't have a name. I just call him Leggett, as he does not want to talk to me for some reason, despite the fact that I've been with him for about four years now. Still doesn't want to talk. Maybe he can't but Anyways, talk. my name's Holden. Leggett. I wouldn't go any further. Why the... F okay. Uh, Holden just kind of looks into the cell, and then steps aside as uh, the bigger guy kind of rips the door off and just kind of throws it in. Throws it in throws it out. Yeah, like... He throws it kind of off to the side. Okay. The guy inside the cell steps forward, and he's like, it's about... And he basically just says, I have to actually change the voice here. It's about time. It's about damn time, don't you think? Uh, yeah, it, it, his is going to be a little bit more peppier, as I'm not really going to say... I'm not really going to talk much with his voice. Um, the person inside the cell just kind of does a little duelist bow and says name's Draken Holden kind of looks at him and says no no the big guy is already the big guy by the way has moved over and ripped the door to the armory off and has stepped towards the so you say your name is Holden eh yes that is my name oh, okay my at this name, moment in time my name is Roken nice to meet you Roken the consumer and nice then I'm to gonna end end my uh, special effects and just show him really? that Holden. I'm really a seven foot tall orc barbarian. Holden looks foot boy and just kind of isn't impressed. He's just like, did you not just see the thing that appeared behind me? Uh, at this point, I've just been kind of desensitized to anything that's really surprising. Anyways, oh the rest yeah, of you I just remembered something. He goes over there and eats the demon. Fuck. Consumes it. <laughs> Anyways. Holden <What's> turns... <laughs> Holden... Uh, shut, shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. All of your questions will... Not, all, of, all questions will be given... Will be answered later. Holden kind of just... Holden nods towards the armory and says, get yourself armored up. Draken will help you out of here. Me and Big... Me and Leggett here, me and the Leggett are going to go and hopefully get out of... Hopefully alert the rest before any more of them come. They kind of... They both run down the hallway and just kind of... Oh, Draken steps out, goes into the armory. Yeah, I'm not going to move him there. Goes into the armory, picks up a spear, and walks back to the stairs. Kind of waiting. Um, so I'm going to consume the demon, and then everybody's going to watch me do this, because I want to make sure everybody sees me do this. While he spends 30 minutes on his feast, I'm going to scratch no, at this. No, no, nah, fam. It, it takes 
two seconds for me to consume an entire being. <laughs> Not even a joke. It's just okay. Give me like one second. And uh, the time it takes for you to do that, I'm going to scratch at this woman's bows to try to let more people free. All right, you do that. Okay, with a seven to fortitude, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> No, it's not like I don't just eat the person. I like uh, absorb them. Like yeah, his not... jaw unhinges and he just swallows them whole. Not no, even like unhinging. what? It's basically, kinda... what it's like? I open my mouth and you see a light, and then you see them get pushed. Uh, like the what we agreed upon was that basically he was going to open up his mouth. The th basically a stream of energy was going to go flying Wait, out of the body. And hold up to the in his mouth. Hold up, what if it was, like, Pokemon? Like, it looks like a Pokemon going into a Pokeball with his mouth. Pretty much, except it leaves behind a skeleton. Oh, okay. So there's really no vomiting, it's just kind of... dust coming up. Okay, so it doesn't vomit. Okay. Whoa. Shit. Are we good? Do we want to go with the cloth part? Oh, Discord died on me. But, ba but basically... I'm going. Uh, uh, you see him just get dissolved into me. Yeah, that, that's what we. Yeah, we. we it's like. It. It's pretty. It's like a Pokemon. Uh, it's like. If, wait, has anyone ever seen? It's uh, like ever played happened. Evolve. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's that kind oh. of consuming. You okay. know, like they just get absorbed into me. Yeah, it's like that. It's yeah. like sucking. It's like. Yes, basically. Yeah. Best way that we described it was uh, like as if it was a Pokeball, if it was a Pokemon going into a Pokeball, but at least behind a skeleton. Because it anyways, happens extremely fast. Like, just eating them doesn't make sense. But, anyways. I'm going to scratch out this woman's uh, bows to try to let her free. Her door is. Her door is. Her, uh, uh, actually, hang on. Give me, a, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, twelve. <laughs> that this was a yeah. I'm gonna say that that was a ten to notice. So, basically, upon closer inspection of the door, you realize that it wasn't actually it wasn't actually locked. Oh. Well, I'm a cat. I keep scratching at the door because I can't open it. This is true. These are some would would go open the door. Or try to open the door for the cat. Meow. 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 <laughs> Meow. He, he probably doesn't bother trying to look to see if it um is openable or not, though, and just would try to force it open. Okay, so what class is the cat? Meow. Oh, oh, boy. No, it's a small creature. Oh, boy. Do I roll again to you... confirm? Um. Can't crit now. Oh, whatever. So, to describe what happens, <laughs> you wrap your you wrap your tentacles, I assume, around uh, he the has bars, regular arms. and you pull. Okay, you wrap you wrap your hand, you grasp the bars extremely well, and you pull and you pull, only to realize that it's a push door. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, he has eight intelligence, so that that's not too only out of character for him. He got like, better than other. Only, only to realize that you have to push the door to open it. <laughs> What do you do? I, I he eventually realizes and pushes the door open. The woman is currently asleep, made deep sleep. I go sit sleep. on her face to try to suffocate her. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a combat maneuver. Take. <laughs> Give me a CMP. <laughs> I'm a oh cat. I'm God. gonna fail at this so badly. A uh, natural twenty. Nat, nat twenty. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Uh, about, ten. about you uh, continue sitting upon her face <laughs> she eventually starts to struggle for air but picks you up and then proceeds to not really throw you across the room but kind of play but kind of like places you back on the floor and goes back to sleep meow 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 meow, meow. <sighs> i'm gonna try linguistics to explain to her about the prison escape uh let's see uh, twiggy would try the other doors pushing instead of pulling this time uh, give me a perception che check, Twiggy. Oh, okay. Alright, so the gist of what he's perception. trying to convey is that uh, oh, you shit. are in grave danger Holy if shit. you stay here. You should leave with us, because you should. This is prison. Let's not stay here. Danger. 
Jesus. Thank you. She understands. Oh my god. Yeah. You realize that all of the doors were actually never locked. What the fuck? How do you think I came in and out all the time? But anyways, um, Klaus, uh, she basically she looks over at you, understands what you said, and basically just kind of says in reply, um, as I'm not going to do the vo as I'm not going to do a female voice. Uh, she basically just says, uh, I understand, but at this moment in time, I am not really fit for combat, and more importantly, I will wait until the air. I'll wait until the way is clear. And then so I just stand for a second at this woman that's the size of a cat, and then I walk away. She is not the size of a cat. I just accidentally set them that size, okay? I didn't actually think. I'm being honest, I placed them when there was a grid, so their size is... Why You're not even the size of a cat. You're the size of a fucking puma. So Twiggy would just open the rest of the doors, including the ones that didn't have anyone in them. I want to go out the goddamn door! I want to the rest of the yeah, you'll go out. You'll go out once we everyone is We have to make friends first. Damn it! Once everyone is equipped, yeah. Once everyone is equipped. Draken will lead you to and the next bit. Is there an enchanted weapon in here? Uh, no. There is basic. There is all of your gear, basically. Uh, your starting equipment's in here, basically. Uh, Twiggy would grab his gear before anyone tries to steal it. I'm gonna steal it. Fucking no. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle you for it, dog. Let's go. Arm wrestle. I need, I need a strength check from both of you. While they're arm wrestling, I want to try to slide a hand it out of him. Okay, so then I need Twiggy, Roken, I need a strength check from both of you. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I need Wait. a strength check from Roken. Oh, okay, that did roll correctly. Never mind. Yeah, it rolled. It rolled. Fuck. Damn. Just slightly Damn above it. you, right. my boy. Hold on. I rolled the same thing you did. Um, pretty sure. Roken, I need I, to I rolled get... A 14. Okay, Roken, I need a perception check from you. Boy, they. Yeah. Uh, and I'm basically going off of which number is bigger. Oh! It's a tie. If you got, if you want to try to, if you want to try to do this again, I'm gonna need one of those checks from both of you again. All right. Uh, I think. Check. No, I rolled slightly worse. Yeah. Nah, I rolled really bad. Okay, so, um, Roken, you turn and realize you turn around to grab the gear that you have successfully won from the tree, only to find it missing. And the cat stand and the cat's oh. sitting there quite smugly. Oh, no, well, he's not I'm sitting there smugly ahead. because he realized that this is way over his weight limit. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my armor on and get my get my dank on. He just yeah, drops it because he gonna, can't carry that. He's gonna, uh, gonna but grab because his of the power of but because of the power of God, Twiggy now has his gear that Huzzah! the cat has stolen. Um you see the cat going to get a collar. It says Dr. Smokey, PhD. He puts it on and grabs a pair of reading glasses. That is cat size. Tw also, Tw Twiggy will, um, will, will just raise both of his arms in the air as if, like, what the fuck is going on and just walk out. <laughs> Alright, then I, it's... Uh, Roken goes in, gets his gear, gets his trusty sword, oh. gets his, uh, gets his shirt on and rips it a little bit because you know barbarians and shit and then gets my gets my uh hat that says roken md phd ddl yes i'm going to try to stealthily to scratch out his hat that says that no <laughs> Roll perception you, question. What are you gonna jump up give four me, feet give me all right if you're gonna Without do that then it, you're gonna need. I'm gonna need both a perception and a. I'm gonna say sleight of hand for this one, from okay. both of you again. Or would you call that something else? No, it's sleight of hand. It might be sleight of paw. Sleight of, sleight of paw. Yeah, go with that. Paw of hand. Read. I'm gonna intimidate instead of anything else. No. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I'll bounce no. away for. Every he, you currently have scared the tables next to you, as I can't really speak for anyone else. That's really 
their own preference on that. Intimidate that checks and speed checks, like by the way. <laughs> by the way, um... It's based off your will save and your level. Yeah. And, and oh, by the way, uh, these two would have gotten up and run. So, you know, uh -huh. they're gone because yeah. they're idiots. And you'll see quickly how I <laughs> say <they're> idiots. <laughs> Dr. Okay, so Smokey Ken stops Bobby. jumping up uh, vertically. Zayner! Seeing the good face. Yes. Zayner hasn't said anything. Zayner, what's up? I was going to say, Vaughn's going to be the last one in there because there's just a big party going on in that room. And if there, if anyone like dips into his little pile, they can just take what they want, but he's hoping that you don't because that's nah. his stuff. Be nice. Yeah. Nope. As either yeah, way. You want to have a shield. Draken still kind of just leaning on his spear. It's like the other guy had one. I saw that. But can you use a tower shield? Wait, hold on. Does this person look like a wizard? That is a. Do they have a person? Uh, perception named, question mark. Do they have a person named Shigo who works with them? Stop! That's rude. I just caught that joke. Rude as heck. Okay, I'm gonna kill myself now. D does he look magey at the very least? Question mark. Roll knowledge arcana. <laughs> um, in reality, it's up to him what you need to roll for that. So if he wants to even participate in that. I think we're all good to go. I hope. Banner? Yep. Banner? Yeah? Or do you want to... Do you want him to do any kind of rolls to see if you're any form of magical? Oh, magical? Uh, I don't think I'm magical. So, I, mean, I do think spell. rolls. Hey, I've I, don't got have, I don't have any spells, spells on no. me. Okay. I've got magical oh, stuff um, on me. Oh, that's right. Also, um, Xander, give me a perception check. Oh boy, it's my turn to roll. Daddy. Except. Because... Okay, you know. I have to like get there. You okay? Yeah, I was trying to like open my character sheet, but it was being dumb. Nice, but not freaking twiggy. Oh, I wasn't. I yeah, I said everyone except Xaner do a perception. Oh. I just heard Xaner. So I need one from everyone except. Yeah, I need a perception check from everyone except Xaner. Uh, right. That is a very nice. There. Um, let me go. Fi let me go fix my damn roll. I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, Twiggy. Oh, well, Twiggy knows this. Twiggy always knows. Did I knows. know this? Uh, what's your... I no, was... you have to... No, you'd have to pass, uh, 25. And there's only... It's only a one-time roll, so... Um... I'll take yeah. 10 on that. I'll take 20 on the perception check. Can't do that. You can. I'm saying you can. I can. Huh. Anyways, uh... Xander, if you want to send Twiggy a message about what he notices, because not counting that, uh, because you know, kind of wanted to keep it a secret and all. So go ahead and oh, send oh it. yeah, oh yeah. Were they perceptioning me? Perceptioning you. So oh, the only I, didn't, really, I was confused. One, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll the only person it. who passed it was Twiggy. Oh, he wouldn't have cared. He wouldn't have looked. Yeah, he would have. He's looking everywhere I'm all the sorry. time. My character, damn it. Oh. Okay, Klaus, sorry. who do you want to be sitting on for right, for this moment of time? So that way Sit I can on Twiggy! Uh, he is actually doing his best to resist the urge to scratch the heck out of the tree. So he would probably cl climb onto the giant rock creature because he looks like he's climbable. <sighs> all you hear come from is like a... <sighs> But he wouldn't do anything, because he's a fucking pussy. Could, could you put me on top? Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to do. Trying to. Uh, just, like, right-click me, and then I believe it's under advanced. Also, he's smushed. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. He's just a little smushed. I lost some weight. 
<laughs> Dr. Smokey considers with all of his, uh, history. Yeah, for this, for, for this kind of sake, I'm just gonna say that that's that, yeah. Okay, so, oh, with that... Oh, by the way, right-click and hit two front. What? There should just be... There we go. Okay. Anyways, um... With that, with everyone having their gear finally, Draken kind of just looks over everyone and says, We ready to go? Twiggy yeah. would give a thumbs up. Anybody have any food? Meow. All that eating made me hungry. <laughs> any food right now? Bro. Um. He steps out of the way. Oh, okay, nope. I don't want to reveal any. I don't want to reveal what's underneath the map. That's not a good thing. He kind of steps out of the way and ushers down the hallway. But uh, at the. But before anything else can happen, he kind of. I'm gonna have to draw this line here. Uh, he says, "Whatever you do, don't go past the second door. Wait." I'm gonna change my appearance to look like I am uh, the woman again. <laughs> So he he kind of he kind of walks a little bit forward and um, footsteps don't really make any song for so, eh, any real form of sound when he does this either. He he just kind of it's kind of more like he's gliding more than walking, but he stops there and just kind of readies his spear for something that he for something that he can see coming that no one else can. If nobody else is going to no go first, Zon will. Oh, uh, he'd reach out and try to stop the boy. Oop. And he'd go. He tries Twiggy to, like, would. gently, like, nudge Twiggy out of the way. Dead. Xander, you saw about that. You saw about that much before uh, the tree took you back. The tree? No, no, the, no rock? Yeah, the rock did. Oh, well, my bad. Well, the, the rock, well, before yeah. the rock kind of pulled you back. My bad. Rock to Dwayne Johnson. Wait. Stop that. I'll kill you. McCollin's a little forceful about it. He definitely just puts an arm on, like, to each side and tries to stop him from going forward. <sighs> would, would... You know, yeah. the cat jumps off the rock creature and walks along the side of the wall as if he's walking on the ground. What? This is a very magical cat. He then walks on top of the ceiling, just walking upside down. Impossible bloodline sorcerer. So I think you would just watch the cat because he's so confused right now. <laughs> he's gonna look down this if it's open. Uh, it is. You can't on close on close look. It there is a there is a event going on in here. Oh, an event door. Actual lock cell door, mind you. The door. It's actually a cell. And about all you can see is about that at the moment. <laughs> hey, um, no give me like, on. give me like a uh, five minutes. I gotta go pick, pick up my uh, stepdad from like a mile down the road. It shouldn't okay. be long at all. I just have to go get him. Broken walks over into this corner and kind of just from his last devouring thing. So everyone else kind of moves. Um, Smokey <laughs> jumps down from the ceiling jumps back onto the, the rock creature. He meows once, trying to convey a message. Uh... I actually need to up these people just a bit. Uh, I'm also very sorry if I start pinging everyone over to certain situations. You understand sure. that there is a dead man over there, and there's a demon over his corpse. You tell that only to the rock creature, or no, you he tell it to everyone? No, he, he meows it to everyone. Uh, Twiggy would ready his bow. Hmm. Yeah, and again, they've been standing here for a while and nobody has made a move to go forward, so he's gonna try yep. again. Tw Twiggy would go in front of him, just in case. Okay. And he's wielding his short bow at this point. Yeah, Twiggy's wielding his if long bow. If I keep bow. pinging you guys, I do apologize. It's cool. Dr. Um, Smokey's back on the Does ceiling. he see the thing? Uh, hang on, let me let me jump back over there. I was resizing tokens. Uh, Twiggy, you see into the event. At the moment, the demon is just continuously hacking away at this at this uh, guard corpse, 
and is just continuously hacking away at it with a demonic axe, and he's just hacking and hacking and hacking, mm. and he does not show any signs of stopping anytime soon. He's hacking and whacking and smacking. Pretty much. Should I attack it or not? That one's up to you. You can try to open the door. You can. I try don't to... want to open the door. Uh, is it barred or is it just a door? It's it's a barred. It's a set, basically a uh, glorified cell door. Um, so that means I can shoot through it, right? Or or is it a solid cell door with only those little bars at the window? Uh, it's it's a it's a normal cell door. It has it has bars. Uh, there, the cat does an adorable little sneeze as a plume of smoke comes from its mouth into the area. Uh oh, is that the? Yep, that's the thing. Okay. He. The demon does not really possess, as the demon is wearing a very rather tight face mask. Does still have to do a roll. This but wait, actually, does that cover? Um. Uh, hang on. Uh, somebody can't hold the breath to negate the con damage, but the uh, fire damage is automatic. Second. What is a 20-foot cube? Okay. So, at this moment in time, just kind of... Can I shoot in there while he's doing that? I mean, does not really show any real signs of a face, other than just kind of... <laughs> glowing red dots where its eyes would be. It does not take con damage, but it does slightly burn, and it's now down to about 48 health. I, I fucking no. 48 health. Nice. Uh, uh, um, uh, these, guys um, have a lot, these guys have a lot of health. You, you see, I, I don't know if I want to attack this now. It's good to remember that you have 30 health on top of whatever your regular roll is. Yeah. So I think Twiggy has like... 20? We, had, we got 30 level 1, right? What? We got 20 health level 1 or 30? I thought it was 30. You get 30 health on top of your level 1 health. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's what I thought. Really? That's why, I, Jesus that's why I have 39 HP. Okay, hold on. Let me edit that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let me edit that as well. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. So it's not that much higher than us. But it is higher. I'm sure Frank would be bragging about his 52 HP right now. But like normal. Oh yeah, he's so okay. full of vitality. <laughs> okay, I have 41 HP then. Neat. Mmm. Fuck it. I I hope you guys will back me up. Who knows? Did, did Twiggy. I think that he just fled for a second. Oh. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Oh, uh, wait, then. Black was step back for a little bit, so I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick in that case. Okay. Pee on me. Bam. Right. So. Um. Well, it kind of sucks, um, that creature has total concealment right now. <sighs> yes. Sorry about that. Okay. Where was I? Um, somebody else just left. Yeah, Xander went to the bathroom. Yeah. Go use the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, like I was saying, these guys do have a lot of health, but... Should we roll initiative? Probably. Uh, at this moment in time... All he really notices is that the room that the room has currently okay. got a, a little bit more has got the room is currently filled up with smoke and that is all and that it's burning him slightly. It that's all that really notices. It slightly um, irritates his skin and that's it. Pretty much. So you're saying I can't see in there. Uh you can attack in there, but it's a fifty percent mischance. Fuck that. I'm gonna wait for it to fucking stop being smoky. Smokey moves in. Okay, I'm here. What did I miss? Uh, um, you missed a thing of nothing uh, really. Thing of yeah. 
Um, yeah, Smokey's going to run along the ceiling and drop down, going to scratch out the guy's face. Roll damage, tell him. Oh, actually, I should just call switch over. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a reasonable amount of damage. Is he flat footed? Uh, would that count as flat foot? Was he paying attention? Well, did he move? And I guess, like, I don't know. Well, you tell us if he's flat footed. Flat footed is just a condition that you have on things that aren't really ready for combat. Yeah, he's flat footed. Right. Yeah, because he okay. he was he was content just hacking away at that horse. All right. So, doesn't that do double or something like that? No. Um. Flat-footed, it reduces the touch AC to 10, and the total AC would be like 10 plus the Omu. They just don't get dexterity bonus and stuff. Okay, yeah, so that does... He is now down to... Yeah, you did a decent chunk. He's now down to 39. So is the smoke gone yet? Uh, um, the smoke... It clears up after five rounds. I thought it said two rounds. No, that's... No. Oh, last five rounds. Each okay. round they take two con damage if they don't if they don't if they don't pass a uh, a save for holding their breath. Which is stupidly low DC. Oh, uh, I'm, actually, I'm correction. He takes actually correction. He takes thirty seven because he does. There was another burn on him at the moment. So he oh. he's now he's now starting to notice the burns, but other than that, really he's. And he now notices that the major scratch on his face, and that's about it, really. All right, I Twiggy will also attack with his with a flurry of bows. Let's see if I have this right. Has a fifty percent chance to miss. So when you do those, I'm going to need a uh, coin flip for each one of those. By the way. Okay. Uh, one or two. Uh, do two of them. No, I I meant. <sighs> I'm gonna go heads with both. Oh okay. Oh. They... Fuck. So they both hit. What? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with uh, we're going with uh, if you get a two, it's a hit. If you get a one, it's a miss. Okay. Because green and so, red. You know. Yeah. So damage, and he's now down uh, what's 37 minus 19 cost? Um, I don't know. Do you want me to actually freaking look? I, got it. I, got I have it. a calculator. And I don't uh, feel he's like he's at 18. Yeah, he's at 18? Neat. Oh god, oh hey. Alright then. Yeah, no, he's, he's taking lots of damage here. He took 18 plus 19 damage? Oh, come on, I don't know. I guess I don't know how much his HP is. Okay, that's pretty cool. He, the, the basic demons have about 50 health. Alright. That's really cool, okay. Yeah. You're about to hate me for this next part. Oh, don't worry, uh, I already hate you. Klaus, he's at 18 health at the moment? Yay. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the 37 minus 19. Oh yeah, fair point. Okay. So yeah, no, he's he he now noticed and has taken a very big back step, but is still inside of the smoke. As he does not know dimensions. Because he doesn't really have a face. Mm. He's just gonna move up and sort of like not like eye the smoke without doing anything. Uh, Twiggy would shoot again if no one else is doing anything. Um, I would actually, before that, just go up and try to scratch his face again. Okay, Ducks. Nice. That is 16, 17. 
Yeah, no, he is severely hurt at the moment. Right. It is actually from the amount, from the sudden impact of a cat flying onto his face, is actually knocked back and on his and onto his back. So he is now outside of the smoke and can see the cat. I'm going to dispel the uh, smoke. The only... Yeah. What kind of action is that? Uh, it should be. A... I'm gonna double check. I'm just curious. I'm sorry. No, it's a really good it's a version of the map. I didn't do my traits. I just realized. I cannot dispel the smoke. Never mind. Uh, you still have one more. If you can. Oh well. Anyways, the smoke is still there. You, if you can, you you need to give me a reflex save on this, but you can quickly jump back into the smoke for protection. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Yep, yeah, it was a. Uh, you okay? So you basically just jump backwards into the smoke and. So you springboard off his face. Yeah. Much just in time for just in time for him to. Ignite slightly. And it's in the meaning of. And Does he literally just really combust? Care. He he doesn't combust as in like he doesn't really you know burn up and die. He oh he kind of like it's kind of like a someone opened up an oven and it was like a very large amount of heat, mm. but it was fire and now he's back up to ten HP. I am going to take two more shots because flurry of bows. If I can take two more shots. Yeah, if you want to. Dry. Oh. They're not, they're not gonna dead. hit anyways. Uh, uh, he is? He dead? Um, yep, yeah, as... We'll do the coin flips anyways. Just in case. Because, you know. Uh, yeah, no, the first one missed, but he's still certainly dead from getting hit with that 15. It's a what fucking AC does he have? That was a five to hit. Really? Yeah, no, he. He's fine. He he's dead. Okay. okay. Neat. I, I wasn't really counting for AC on that, as you know, it wasn't really a combat situation. I should have. Mm -hmm. If he if I would have, then you know he would have been. He he would have really been in for a very. You guys would have been in for a very large situation. So now you have access to the room, and the cat can now see everything in the room. I mean, so can't you. Congratulations. You now know that this is a soldier's ar a guard's armory. Ooh. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. And yes, those are chests. Chest. So Twiggy just kind of faced the door. What? what? The door is still locked. Oh. I'm so a can... tiny creature, I just squeeze through the bars. Let's see if I can break this door down. Oh, go ahead. If it's anything uh, higher than, if, if it's anything higher than you... 15, go ahead. It's done. Before, before he'd break it down, the Oread would speak up. The, okay. rest were the rest were unlocked. What makes you think this one is different? Fair point. <laughs> well, you see, he doesn't care. He likes ripping things. You are abusing your might. <laughs> he, he would give him a thumbs up before he freaking rips the door down. Devon just kind of awkwardly watching this entire time, and then he just kind of scoots over to where this guy is. Dr. Smokey, seeing the thumbs up, wishes he had thumbs. <laughs> okay, so he, he can go into the... the uh, he got in, right? Because that's a 16? Or did he not get it? It was just, it was a 15 to pass, and yeah, you just scraped it, so yeah, no, he he doesn't rip the door off, but instead opens like, it. Oh, the, like a normal person? The, no, the door, the lock breaks, and there's still bits of the lock kind of hanging in the area, but it, it's still open. Okay, and he goes in, and he searches all the things. Uh, you uh, see a cat sitting on the dude's helmet. He would give him a thumbs up as well. The cat would go to give the thumbs up back, realizes he doesn't have thumbs still, and then goes and lifts up the guy's thumb. Side. Or, okay, you, um. You want me to roll perception? Yeah, give me a perception. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, and... Yeah, no. You notice that... Uh, one, two, three, four, five of these chests have already been opened and are currently empty. Can I check the rest of the chests? Go ahead. There's only the three in the back of the room. I will do as such. There's that one, uh, the second one down on the right, and the last one on the left. So, which one are you searching? Uh, that one first. This one? No. Okay. Um, As you go to open it, the cat realizes you're trying to do something and gets on top of the chest. Fuck. Do, do I have to do a CMB to freaking move this cat? Nope. It, at this moment in time, you just have to hope that you can go to another chest and it oh, doesn't I, get in the way. I, I will try to open both chests at once with my tentacles, the other two chests. The cat, too right. lazy to do anything, does not try to get any into any of the other chests. Okay, so I'm gonna need a reflex save. Oh boy, reflex. Uh, both of us or just him? Uh, just him. Yikes. Well, you're, on the bright side, you're not really gonna be taking that much. Um, as you open this... Hang on, let me actually get a little thing out. As you open this chest right here, a small explosion happens. Like, a very small explosion that causes two damage. As you open as you open this chest, there's a small pouch inside of it. I will pick up the pouch. Wait. Uh, wait a he'd second. Sort of, he'd hear the explosion. Yeah, yeah I'll pick up the pouch. And he waved a hand to the um, to the um, pale one, young master. Mm -hmm. Are you proficient with tools? Uh, somewhat. What happened? I heard an explosion. I can only imagine it was one of their. Uh, <coughs> it was an act of incompetence. Go in there and assist them, please. <laughs> an act of incompetence. <laughs> yeah, Vaughn Va just kind of peeks in. Uh, so is there anything inside the exploded chest? Uh, after he, uh, after he picks up the uh, pouch. There was another pouch, but it's currently in dust. It's currently just dust. Okay, so what's in this pouch? Uh, that one, I'm going to have to say you're going to need a... Actually, let me look it up, as I don't remember which knowledge that is. Uh, you're gonna need a knowledge. I'm just gonna use you for this one, Sm uh, Dr. Smokey, as I struggle to load the sheet. And by that, I mean I just need to go to the sheet. Uh, okay, you're gonna need a knowledge, a knowledge engineering, or a knowledge. Uh, you basically need one of the top three knowledges: knowledge, arcana, engineering, or en or engineering for this. <laughs> Can also ask anyone for help on this. Uh, Twiggy would clap his hands and wave at um, both of those, both bo both of the both those of these, two. both of these, because he 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 doesn't know diddly squat about this kind of stuff. Okay, so what kind of pouch is it? You would um, hand the pouch to the boy. I got a sixteen on Arcana because as a cat, uh, I just kind of you... climb up on him. Uh, okay, so then. Uh... <laughs> Need a one of the top three knowledges. So, Arcana, Engineering, or Dungeoneering. I don't have any of the strength. You can try and take a ten. Like, if you have like, I guess would a ten would a ten help at all? Because we can make untrained rolls and then get up to a ten, regardless of what our mod is. Um. Minimum you need for this is a five, as it's a pretty common item for dungeoneering. And I did get a sixteen. If, do they, if they hold it up to his eye level, I think the Oriad would take a guess. Yeah, try try that, try that because you do as it doesn't really take that much to know what this is. Oh, he, yeah, no. But let's hold he, it up to the dry end just in case. He he'd just be like, uh, it is a spell component pouch. That's his guess. Um, Vaughn, upon looking at the pouch, 
you take it from his hand and you examine the contents of it to find that this is a recent discovery in engineering, claiming it to be repair powder. Hmm. Ooh, repair powder. Small label on the back of it. The small label on the back of it says, "Take this item and rub it onto any surface to repair the repair your item back to full." No, it does not work on humans. It does it work on cats? Read it. Oh, he could have just read it. Oh, Owens. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It okay. does not work on any organic matter, anything that can be considered alive. Basically, it says that in quotations at the bottom. Pretty much. What is living, quote unquote? Living means anything that currently isn't. Basically, if you Wait, cut it and it feels pain, we're missing. you can't put Aren't this on it. Someone? You can't put this on it. I, I, I do. What, what if somebody dies? Can we use it to appeal them? No. Are we missing someone? Um, uh, Roke didn't want AFK. Everyone else oh. should be here. He said that he was okay. currently asleep. Oh, uh, okay. So, so um, Vaughn just po just kind of pockets the powder quietly. Okay. But anyways, moving on. Well, Twiggy wouldn't really care. He's just like, didn't look useful to him. And he was just like, meh. It's just a pouch. Uh, Draken looks over at the Dryad and just kind of waves and then points to the door in front of him. Oh. Whatever the frick you are. It's a hey, kind of just waves at people in the room and points to the door in front I, of him. I am going to check that other chest. Oh, uh, give me a reflex save. Of course it was traps. <laughs> if only he had somebody um, with trap on him. Um, as you open the chest, you're able to grab the other repair powder inside before a sudden, ex before a very small combustion. And basically all it does is it makes you basic. All it does is it literally just kicks up dust into your face. As you, oh no, that does so much basically. to me. He, he actually he moved away before the explosion could cause <laughs> any real harm to him. You bet. You needed a base of ten. What did you, what did you get? Yeah, you needed a. I you got a, nine. a base of at least ten to get out of that <laughs> without taking any <laughs> any form of damage. If you would have rolled That's a one, enough. that that if you would rolled a one, that was gonna set you on fire. Oh god, he's made of wood. Yeah, I mean in that other matters, well. but still mostly wood. Yeah, but yeah, no. There's still one more door, or you guys can move on to the rest of the prison. One hundred percent, this bitch. Yeah. All right then. Thank you for helping me with my map making because this all literally took a very long time. I, literally, this. I understand. All of these maps, I made all of my maps by hand. All, making all of these maps, even though it was, I know, I know you guys noticed this, but the staircase kind of leads to the same level. That was literally because I forgot to put walls there, and I didn't feel like going back and editing it. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't want to say anything. <coughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But anyways, uh, upon uh, I'm gonna count Draken Draken's vision as this. He kind of look. You kind of look into the thing. Oh, that's not a that's not a reveal tool. <laughs> He looks into the... Upon closer expansion... All that you can really see is a demon hacking away at something. On the floor. I don't... I don't feel like mm. we should mess with this again. I feel like we Would should you actually mess say with that? this again. Yes. At this moment in time, even if... At this moment in time, the door that's right... Here... Is... Is only really... It's... It's open... But it's also covered, as in there's like a thin plate of material that you can still see through, but is soundproof. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to. Buckle um, that. He'd probably like not look over and sort of see it from like a certain angle and be like, perhaps there was a tool to deal with this. And he'd go over to this corpse and attempt to find anything on it that like seems like it'd be good. Like, like in, like in case of emergency, demons break glass on this guy. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check, actually. All right. So let me tell you, I roll a mean three. <laughs> this one, Don't roll a three. This one's not really high. It's. Oh, 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 trust me. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to make it low. Damn it. 
Here we go. Uh, perception. Got him. Hey. Yeah, Ooh. actually, it was a 15 to notice this. Um, when you roll the body over, there is a set of keys on his on his back. They all have different labels on them. Even one of them saying "Warden's Office." He take the keys and he sort of like take them into a hand. And he's like, uh, "Excuse me, young master." Yes. Literally, excuse me, please. <laughs> I would like to pass you. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, the cat is scratching at the door. Mm. He'd attempt to open it, like, without, like, any force or anything like that. Just, like, how you'd open a door in real life. You you slide the you slide the key in and it opens. Daddy. It opens he, enters. he just slowly walks up and he's just, like... Like, he attempts to close the door without, like, alerting this guy. Or, like, lock it. Okay. I'm gonna need two things. All right. I'm gonna need a perception and I'm gonna need a... Okay, perception, you notice that the hinges open inward. They open towards you, basically. So you can actually open this door without him noticing you. Now, I'm going to need... Now, the, oh. now, use, now if you want to do this kind of stealthily, because he is very weak if he's if he doesn't notice anything. Okay, then I'll do it stealthily. You want me to roll stealth for you? Uh, yes, roll me a stealth. Mm. <laughs> 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 You drop. open the door and immediately afterwards he hears the squeak and lights up. He is now at 60 health and has a small AoE. I'm gonna need initiative. Okay. Alright. He's on my fucking ass. Oh man. Initiative. Uh, you might want to pull up Tone Odo. How do I do that? Alright, there's a little clock thing on the left hand side. <laughs> Click it. Ah, oh, hey. Uh, he's gonna do a roll. He's at. Oh, I forgot to click myself. I'll change, it. I'll change my thing to the correct number after I get myself on there. Nice and it. I got a 17.01. Oh, uh, by the way, Drac is not gonna take part in this as he's still watching the. Hey, Rokin, you came in just in time. Give me initiative. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, click myself and roll, but I I got a 17. Okay. If you get, I'll let you either take this. I'll let you take the 17 if you do anything lower. Yeah, you can change that to 17. Rokin. Hey, Gabriel. Gabriel hey, Iglesias. Up, 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 up. I don't know where the fuck he is. So, Papa uh, for Frank, this moment of time. Give us a until he often. He's here, but until he speaks, he just doesn't do Okay, well, there's his uh, initiative. Uh, make sure to click, remember to click yourself on that. If you get anything higher than the 7, I'll let you take it. You never you take on me. What if I take me on instead? Thank you. Hold on. Oh yay, the slowest go first. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Demon's not really gonna be prepared for anything. You're although, okay. Thank you. Although everyone who actually has a high turn can literally cannot do anything about it. Roken, you're uh, I'll let you I'll let you jump up to here, but that's minimum. Okay, so also, Roken, I think your mic is mute. Your mic, your mic might be muted. Yeah, we can't hear. Yeah, you. it was. Okay. Okay. It was. Hey, Papa okay. Frank. Came so, back in time just for, uh, just. Yeah, for what's combat. up, Zayner? Talk to us. Would you so, would you give me a penalty for trying to shoot my short bow with in front, with these people on the way? Um. I don't yeah, think that's a penalty, is it? I have a precise shot, so I don't. I don't think it's Klaus, is that a I'm penalty or? Zayner, dude, Zayner's turn. I'm it's about his fool. Okay. Yeah. No. It's a okay. Yeah. No. It's a minus four. But you know, take try Wait, to take shot on, if you can. If it's if he's got precise shot, then like bonus like blocking stuff doesn't even matter. Like I, I don't, don't get any cover. So if I like move right here and like try to peek by Twiggy and get a shot off, we'll take a minus four to that. Uh, Twiggy will let him pass if he tried. Is he allowed to do that when I'll it's on his turn? I'll allow slight movements as long as it's not. 
all out slight movements. Like if you move over like a sli like if you can say that you kind of shove him over, you kind of shove him. No, a Twiggy, bit Twiggy would move if he tried to get by. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna like, can I try to peek this corner and roll stealth so he doesn't see me peeking the corner to take a shot? Uh, yeah. Also, Roken, just because yes. I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna have it to where uh, a lot as soon as you heard, as soon as you saw Van uh, draw his bow, he moved up. You kind of rushed up there, free turn, just because I'm a nice okay, guy. Okay, I was wondering something. What what actually happened? Uh, someone needs to fill me in. Well, thing they entered into this room down here and they found three chests. One of them was booby. Two of them. Uh, all of them. All of them, yeah. Two of them. These two were booby trapped with uh, s small combustions. Uh, they missed. They missed one and got the other two. Basically, oh, they have repaired. Basically, they have. What are you, what are you doing? I'm. I'm literally trained against traps. Yeah. No. He has. Now they have two repair powder. Uh, they would have had three if they could have passed the other one. But and now we're going um, to die because we didn't catch this one off guard because we have clumsy feet. 